Forming an LLC may seem confusing to do, so I'm going to break down everything you need to know to start your own LLC in Florida, which I'll even mention later in the video an easy way that you could go about setting up your LLC through the company Taylor Brands, who is known for their simple step-by-step -step process to getting your LLC started. So before we dive into the actual steps you need to take, if you are new to LLCs, here is a quick overview. So first off, an LLC is a limited liability company that is pretty much a way for anyone starting a business to keep all your business assets and liabilities away from yourself. This is because your LLC could protect you in the case of someone going after your personal assets, whether that be a personal car or home that is separate from your business. Another benefit to LLCs is that they provide more flexibility than many other business types, especially in regards to tax purposes. For example, you can choose to be taxed as a sole proprietor or partnership based on your position, where if you structure it as one of those instead of a C or S corp, you will avoid double taxation. And with an LLC, you can also benefit from writing up a number of expenses that you can deduct from your business, which would reduce the amount of taxes you'd have to pay. So any supplies, travel expenses, or pretty much any expense that you are putting into the business to help it improve, you can pretty much deduct that. For example, with my YouTube setup and the LLC I have, I'm able to deduct things like my camera, microphone, and my lighting equipment. So that's pretty much a simple overview to LLCs. Let's now go over the step-by-step -step process on how you can get started. So the first thing you need to do is pick the name for your LLC and just be aware that in Florida, they require that your business name must end with one of the following being limited liability company, limited company, LLC, or L.LLC. So as you can see below, if your company is ABC, it should look like one of the following below, but as the article even shows, most people have theirs as simply LLC. Another thing to be aware of with the naming process is that the name should not be misleading to the public and specifically should not imply a false government affiliation like agency, commission, department, bureau, or any of these. You also want to make sure that your ideal LLC name is available in Florida, which you can check through Taylor Brand's website. And I will say, once you find out the name that you want and can use, I highly recommend looking in to see if there's an available URL that is similar. So moving on from there, the next step you're gonna have to do is hire a registered agent, which is required in the state of Florida and is pretty much a person or business responsible for sending and receiving important legal documentations on your behalf, such as tax forms, lawsuits, and other legal documents. Understand that this person or business needs to be a full-time resident in the state of Florida, which it can even be yourself. But something interesting about this is that if if you don't want your address publicly shown on your LLC, if you do this through a registered agent service, you could actually avoid that. So after you get that figured out, the third thing you're going to have to do is file a Florida LLC Articles of Organization. By doing this, it pretty much means that you are able to establish the business legally, provide limited liability protection for members, and ensure compliance with state laws, allowing the business to operate legitimately. The next step to follow on this that I'd recommend is to create an LLC operating agreement, and this isn't required in the state of Florida, but it is something recommended and convenient because it'll allow you to have much better understanding for how you're actually operating the company. And I say this because an operating agreement is pretty much a way for you to have a written document defining the ownership and operating agreements of the business under the LLC. So this pretty much makes sure that the owners and employees are going to be getting what's expected through the written documents under this agreement. So this agreement pretty much includes details such as members, roles, and responsibilities, voting rights, and any sort of profit share arrangements and procedures for adding and removing members. Now, obviously, if you are the only member and you have no employees, this process will be much easier and you won't have much conflict. But what I like to say is that no matter the situation, having something written down allows you to have much more clarification for the business you are running under this LLC. And like I said, especially if this isn't just you and you have multiple members, this is going to reduce a lot of conflict and I think it's just a much better way to go about having something written down. Moving on from there, you're going to need to get an employer identification number, stands for EIN, for your LLC, and this is pretty much like your social security card for your personal, but now this EIN is for your business. So this EIN number is going to be a unique nine-digit number assigned by the IRS to identify the business entity. And this is extremely important because you're going to need this number in order to open a business bank account, hiring employees, and filing federal and state taxes. So all in all, the EIN number serves as a federal tax ID, which is essential for maintaining legal and financial integrity for your business. Now, another thing you need to know about is Florida's annual resale certificate for sales tax, which you will need this license if you intend on selling taxable goods or services. And as you can see on Florida's website, you can see different examples that would be considered for needing this license. Besides that, you're also going to have to file an annual report that contains the information with your LLC and any information that may have changed, such as your mailing address or the registered agent, for example. Which, by the way, this report is due each year by May 1st, and the current fees for filing are roughly $140, where there is a large $400 
$100 late penalty. So knowing all this, you now have the actual business formed where you can go ahead and open up a business bank account where everything in this account should be separate from your personal assets. I also would suggest getting a business credit card for any of the spending on your business. First off, you can keep this away from your personal assets and you can also earn rewards at the same time by doing so. In fact, by doing this, you can build your business credit and depending on the company you use where I use Chase's business cards, you can get some great rewards from that and you can transfer them however you'd like to benefit the most from it. Which if you are interested, I made many videos on Chase's credit cards. If you wanna check out, I'll leave some of them linked in the description below for you. And don't forget that with the LLC, you can deduct your expenses that that you use on this card from your taxable income. Which because of that, if you found this entire process to be overwhelming, you could use a company that can form the LLC for you in just a few simple steps, that is Taylor Brands. And by the way, the expense of using this company, you can also deduct from your taxes. So instead of taking a ton of time researching into this and still not being 100% guaranteed that you know what you're doing, let's go over the easy method. Now with the company Taylor Brands, they can help you set up your LLC, any license, trademarks, EIN number, and even other things like getting your own domain and logo created. So instead of spending a ton of time going through different websites that you've never seen before and trying to figure it out, if you just click the link in the description below, it will direct you to their website where you can easily get started by selecting the state you're in, for this case, Florida, typing in your ideal business name, that it will be automatically detected if it can be used or not. And by the way, if you use my link, you can get 35% off their premium LLC plans. But from there, you're just gonna have to fill out the questions it will ask you, such as what position you're currently at with your business, when you're planning to launch, what type of industry business you're in, how many employees are in the company, what kind of service are you looking for, like I said, LLC, and any other sources that you will need. From there, you will simply cross off any criteria and continue down the questionnaire that you have, and you'll finish off with your personal details to then get your LLC started. Which by going through this, you'll also get access to their team of professionals that can help you assist and ensure your documents are legally correct. Besides that, Taylor Brands is a well-known name in the industry of assisting the creation of LLCs and has helped over 36 million users around the world. Which if you're curious on the pricing, you can start from the light version of $0 to the essential, and if you use my link, it's $130, and then the elite that would be $162 using my link. On top of that, just be aware that you will also have a state fee and any other options that you add onto the package. But I will say that by doing it through Taylor Brands, you're gonna save a lot of time and you're also gonna be guaranteed your LLC is formed properly for you. With that said, to finish off the video, here are the other rules you need to know about. The first thing you need to know about is not a Florida rule, but a federal one that depending on the industry you're in, you're gonna need a federal license. So let's say you make alcohol and sell it at a retail store, you're gonna need this. And I will say if you are in any business that's close to any of these listed, then you may wanna look into it more. And besides that, when it comes to actually filing your taxes, just understand that when you're a single member, you're gonna be using a form that is the 1040 Schedule C. And if you are a multi-member LLC, that's gonna be a form of 1065 U.S. Return of Partnership Income, which if you want to learn more about both of these, you can research and learn a lot about them through the IRS website. Now, the other rule you need to know about is the Florida Reemployment Tax. That means if you have employees, you need to register for them and pay reemployment tax, which is meant to help cover the cost of unemployment benefits for workers who lose their jobs. As you can see right here, workers do not pay this reemployment tax. It will actually come out of the employer's cost. All I know is that this means for any new employers, you're gonna have to pay 2.7% tax, which is applied to the first $7,000 in wages paid to each employee during a calendar year. Now there are many exceptions and other things to know about this, so if you are curious, I'd highly recommend going through their website and reading through it. So that about covers how to start an LLC in Florida. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below, and if you wanna get started, consider using the link I have in the description below to Taylor Brands, where you can get 35% off their premium LLC plans with my link, which it also helps me out and is greatly appreciated. With that said, if you wanna learn more about financial content, I've made free resources for you to check out that I'll have linked in the description below. And as as always, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notifications button for future content like this.